Well, I wake up early at the crack of dawn, get my teacher, put my old boots on, and I'm gone. Well, get my dog and put him in the truck, we hit the road. F and T's Tailgate Adventures is brought to you by F and T's Fur Harvesters so Trading Post, Kelly's A Lights, Ultra Advantage Dog Food. F and T Canine Classic Hunting Dog Boxes, Dan's Hunting Gear, United Kennel Club, C and H Publishing, Wild Spirit Guide Service, Midnight Hunting World. Hello and welcome to F and T's Tailgate Adventures. This week we're going to take you on a hunt that we had earlier this year. It was uh, Chad McCoyne, fiance Danielle, mm -hmm. and some black and tans. Several black and tans. Several generations of black and tans, actually. Yeah, it was, uh, it was several generations of black and tans. We made several trees with those same dogs, one or two each, yep. and uh, saw several coon. In fact, on one of those trees, we didn't notice it at the time, and I think we all took a turn <laughs> trying to film that coon. <laughs> But there was actually three coon there in there. three. And I didn't find it until we got to the production studio. Until we got to the editing room. So keep an eye out for that and enjoy the show. Well, this evening I'm out with uh, Chad McCoy and his fiance Danielle. And uh, we're going to be hunting with uh, some dogs with a little more color than I'm accustomed to. We're going to be hunting with some black and tans this evening. Yeah. And uh, who are we going to be out with this evening? Uh, first, we're going to hunt with uh, night champion Black River Buddy. Um, he's just a two-year-old dog and my up-and-coming stud dog. Okay. Yeah. Litter of pups on the ground out of him now. Oh, how old is that litter? Uh, ten months old. Okay. All right. And you've got another dog that we're going to be hunting. Yep. Uh, McCoy's Black River Hammer. He's a night champion, and uh, he's what got me started into the black dogs. He's, okay. He's eight years old. He's got quite a few litters down now. Okay. And uh, we're going to get an opportunity to see uh, see a pup out this evening as well. Yeah, one out of Buddy, um, McCoy's Black River Buffy. Uh, she's ten months old, and she's a nice young female. Okay. So hopefully we can see what she can do tonight. So we're going to see a couple generations. Oh, yeah. All right, great. Well, you know, actually, uh, it's July, and uh, it's been hot, but this evening it's fairly cool. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we won't be sweating up a storm, and maybe it'll even keep the bugs at bay. Yeah, let's so. hope. <laughs> but uh, we're going to head down this cornfield here. Uh-huh. Well, let's, uh, let's get the dogs and uh, cut them loose and see what happens. See what happens. All right. All right, Chad, we're going to... Uh, well, he is a big old leggy dog. Oh, he? yeah, he's a big tall dog. Man, you got some legs. You can get through the country, can't you? <laughs> I, was, I, I was thinking about hunting, and I'm looking at that dog's almost looking you in the face. <laughs> I know. It. All right, well, let's cut him in here and okay. uh, see what happens. Now, uh,. How's he going to hunt? Does he hunt pretty deep? or? Yeah, he can get through there in a hurry. Um, normally I like to hunt him in the first drop in the bigger timber so I can uh, kind of see, to slow him down a little bit. Okay. Because he can get through there sometimes. I don't normally hunt on a fence row right off the, the get-go because he likes to stretch him long legs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty quick strike dog normal. Just as I say it. Yeah, he normally gets struck pretty quick. You know, he's pretty honest strike dog when he strikes normally too. Sounds like he's just right around the corner here. Yeah. Have you been uh, campaigning him pretty heavy this year? Yeah, I've had. He's been in about ten hunts, and he's won. Uh, he's won his cast five times. I made him night champion with uh, five different cast wins. Okay. So. Yeah, hopefully to finish him the gram pretty soon. As young as he is, that's why I want to really push him hard and promote him. Yeah. What's his, uh, what's his breeding? A guy in Dan um, up in northern Ohio, um, and a guy named Dana White, he's had the same bloodline for like 30 years. And they wasn't real big competition hunters, but uh, he's got some northern cash in him. Um, a lot of uh, Skaggs Black Slammer. Some of the smoky combs, set him up ace. A little bit of, you know, a lot of the top reproducers back in their day. Yeah. But his mom and dad, they wasn't no night champions or anything. Sound like he's about ready to get a little warm there. Right 
just want to sit down there. Yep, you too. Hey, saying goodnight. He's saying, Coon, you better be hiding good. <laughs> Another drop. All righty. What's that here? He acts like he spends a lot of time in the stuff. Yeah, he, he don't get out too much anymore. Now, now, Danielle, are you handling him on this drop? No. No. <laughs> He's gonna cut him back here in the Yeah, we'll go ahead and cut him back here. All right. Yeah, he acted like he had plenty of energy. Oh, yeah. He likes to get in there pretty quick normally. acting like we turned right out on top of one. He's acting like something's been through here. tree there for <laughs> get off the face. That's a bit easy. Yeah. Alright Daniel, come on over here. Now I gotta know. Did you know he was a coon hunter before he popped the question? Yeah. Right. We dated for two years in high school, so I used to go hunting when we were in high school with him. Oh so you're a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> This little patch here, or just a small patch here. Um, we normally don't hunt it a whole lot because they normally, you know, if you got more than one dog, they kind of cut through it, go right through it. But normally, you just hunt one dog in here, you get treed pretty quick in there. Especially when you turn right out on them. I know it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's easy one there.
Say goodnight. I'd say so. I'd say he's hooked up there. Normally he throws those three yodels there and he's hooked. Gonna keep it a short walk? Yep. Yeah. Short walk. Easy. right in this fence row. Right there is where he was wanting to go when I pulled him away from there. So that's Buffy and Buffy's out of Buddy? Yep. She's out of Buddy. And she's uh, 10 months old. Is she one of the, the first litter? Or? That's the only litter he's got on the ground. She's He's only been bred once. And, uh, well, I got another litter coming up. Should be in a couple weeks if the female took, but she was older. She's like 11. Okay. So. But, uh, She's running in trees? Yeah, oh yeah. About every time I take her, she runs in trees. I take her by herself. She's treed three or four. And so, she's good. really doing good. At 10 months, yeah. Yeah. Are they both up straight yeah. now? Now, how many uh, pups were in that litter? I think uh, there was six. Six? I think there was six, as far as I know. Um, there was two other ones that are doing real well. Mm -hmm. One of my buddies has a male dog out of him. He's real independent and doing real good. At 10 months? At 10 months. Okay. Like, you don't even pay attention to the other dogs. And Can't beat that. No, no. Not in the black dogs anymore, it seems like. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah. Well, people are a little racist when it comes to the black dogs. Yeah. Now, have you always had black and tans? No, I bought, I used to hunt, uh, I've had all kinds. And, uh, I liked blue ticks there for a long time. And then uh, Hammer, which is what converted me over to the black and tans, um, about eight years ago I got him. So you had him as a pup? I got him when he was a year old. Mm -hmm. And uh, hunted him all that kill season, killed lots of coon to him. and He's the one that kind of got me into the competition hunting. Okay. And uh, one of the first dogs I titled, so... Yeah, that's what got me started on them black dogs. I see. But you have uh, you have some other black dogs as well besides the yes, I have too. a um, Blackie who is uh, Hammer's half sister, and uh, she's a real good pleasure dog. I don't competition hunter, but she uh, 
she'll treat you like every coon that's been down in the woods. She's a real good layup dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a litter of pups out of her and Hammer, and I, saw, I had nine sold every one of them. Okay. And uh, are they doing pretty well? Or? Uh, they, but they're just like three months old. So okay. And they're just, just now, just weaned them not too long ago, and everybody's tickled with them the way they act. You know, good acting pups. Okay. And I got a Grand Knight Champion, um, Miss Ellie, and uh, I just use her for breeding right now. Okay. So I don't really hunt her in the competition hunts, but I just want to hunt these younger dogs and let them finish them out. Okay. Yeah, they're getting in there a little ways. Hmm. They're true. Mm-hmm. He's a hammering on that one. Mm-hmm. I don't know another dog crease with him, buddy. He'll really just rack him. Well, it was pretty dry on that first place yeah. he was at, too. Oh, yeah. Huh? It is. There. Go there. They got down here pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Right through here? Go ahead, man. great time oh I had a real fun time you know we uh, we made that first drop with uh, with buddy and uh, and treat a quick coon oh yeah went out with uh, with hammer struck right out in front of us got treed quick saw another coon yeah and then uh, then we went out with buddy and, uh, and a dog out of buddy yep. Buffy. Yep. and uh, slam dunked another one mm -hmm. and uh, then this last drop here you know we got in there I think they I mean they got tree pretty quick the problem was you know like most of the evening we got such a canopy oh yeah you know everywhere you turn around you got some sapling hanging over and you got a lot of vines in all these dang trees and so i think there was probably a coon up there we just couldn't you know just couldn't find him yeah and uh we talked about uh you know the present day we mm -hmm. talked about your past how you you used to be blue dogs and now you're you're gone even farther to the dark side <laughs> yeah. And uh, got that black power in there. <laughs> what's the future? I mean, uh, you gonna stay with this line? Do you have some some crosses planned in the future? Yeah, um, me and the buddy up in uh, northern Ohio, Dana White. He uh, he's you know he knows what I like in a dog and stuff. I'm not a real puppy man. He knows what, and he's not a competition hunter. So okay. he starts them for me and knows what I like, and I think I'll stick with them for as long as. They're around here, anyhow. Okay. So, do you have some uh, some dogs getting started right now, or? Yes, he's got um he's got about three of mine young dogs up there. That's out of Hammer and um, uh, Blackie, and uh, he's got a couple out of Buddy. Okay. But uh, right now, I don't need no dogs, so I got okay. plenty. And what about uh, what about the rest of this year? I mean, we're just now in July, and uh, is is Buddy gonna be hitting a lot more hunts yet this yeah, year? Yeah, I want to try to finish him out to Grand as soon as possible. And uh, start studying him out because I got the one litter. You know, she's seen Buffy, and she seems 
she's high strung, ready to go, and I think she's going to make a pretty good dog. So, okay. I'd like to get some more pups on the ground, see what he's producing. Gotcha, gotcha. And I think probably the most important question of the evening, Danielle, have you guys set a date? Um, we are going to maybe think about December. Thinking about December. Yeah. I think we might go to Vegas. Yeah. Vegas. Vegas. Yep. The PBR can, finals are in December, so we might go out there for that. Can we join you guys in Vegas? Hey. We can come do another episode. <laughs> do an episode out there. I don't know if they got many coon, but we'll go. <laughs> we'll have a heck of a time no matter what, right? That's right. Well, again, hey, I appreciate you guys taking us out. I appreciate you guys. It was great meeting you. You too. And uh, until next time, this is another episode of F and T's Tailgate Adventures. F and T's Tailgate Adventures has probably partnered with these fine kennels: Chris Brett Kennels, Oak Ridge Kennels, McCoy's Black River Kennels, and the home of Buck Creek, Mr. Smith. F and T's Tailgate Adventures is brought to you by F and T's Fur Harvesters Trading Post. Ultra Advantage Dog Food. F and T Canine Classic Hunting Dog Boxes. Kelly's K Lights. Dan's Hunting Gear. United Kennel Club. <laughs> All right, now this is where Danielle, you talk to the camera. Tell us what you thought about the evening, Midnight how it went. Hunting world. You know the ups and downs. What? Well, we, we, <laughs> <laughs> she was looking like us.